Auto Tunes, Lil Yanks, see me and Webb, I'll be back. We're gonna get big shout out to Mercury Wolf. Last Auto Tunes was dope. I'm uh, matter of fact, we was at, uh, we'll call it Monday, Mercury Wolf. Uh, tour kickoff was dope. Shout out to everybody that came out there, Midwest Melly. Shout out to Rich Flo, the whole Universe Miami staff. But we here, Auto Tunes, we back, baby. We back, bigger than ever. Matter of fact, we got one of the special artists all the way from Germany, now Miami. Simone, how you doing, Simone? Good, good. hello. Now, here's the facts. Um, <laughs> we tried this before, and this host, they call him broken glass everywhere. Stuff wasn't working. His phone was cracked up, the thing was falling, so, you know, we had to do it again. So, since that time, got to know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And, because um, you are, we, we actually met on the Rich Flow show. Shout out to DJ Nasty Nate. Um, so, what's been going on, man? How you, how you doing? I'm good. I've been performing. I've been writing new music. I've been to the studio a lot. So, that's pretty yes. much what I've been up to. And um, you're actually from originally from Germany. Yes. Tell me, how do you, how do you I mean... Right? How I ended up here? How do you end up in Germany? Yes, in the, oh, ended, no, <laughs> you're I born in Germany, but... I didn't but... end up in Germany. I started, <laughs> I started out in Germany. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then I end up here. Um, yeah, so born and raised in Germany because my mother is German, my father is American. Mm -hmm. So um, I've always had family here in the States and in Germany. Right. And so I've always had a reason to come here. And um, Army brat? Hmm? Army? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Why everybody uh, that born in the Army born in Germany? Like, what, what's, what's, what's up in Germany? Well, there just uh, the always used to be a lot of U.S. military mm. stationed in Germany. Oh. It's not as much as it used to be, but mm. in the 80s, it was really a do, lot. Do, do you have sole, uh, um, a dual um, citizenship, or are you just, you're just a citizen Yeah, Germany? I have dual citizenship. Lucky mother, bleh! <laughs> you can bounce around all you want to. Yeah, it's definitely an advantage. Yes, definitely dope. <laughs> so, and you, um... You do music over in Germany too, or this is? No, I do it in Germany too. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have my normal job in Germany, and I go to school and school. all that. So this is being here in Miami is a great opportunity for me to just focus on music. Ah. And that's what I'm doing right now. What are you studying in school? International business. Oh. Yeah, but I'm almost I'm done. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What do you learn in international business? Like, what do they teach you? Oh, it covers a lot of fields such as um, marketing and account accounting, okay. um, just general knowledge about the economy, stuff like that. Okay, so in Germany, you had to go to school, you had to work and do music. Mm -hmm. And since you've been in Miami, you had more time to focus on it. Yes. What's the difference that you see when you put more focus on your music? Strictly. Well, I see that I get a lot more attention mm -hmm. because I just have more time to network right. and show people what I do. Um, that's the most important part. Um, so uh, people notice me and people also spread the word about me, which just leads to more work for me. Mm -hmm. um, so the busier I get, the busier I get. The busier right, I get. Right. The busier you yeah. get, the busier you get. Uh, I like that. <laughs> but um, how do you um, how do you get on the University of Miami artist for men? Because that's where um, um, we're supposed to show you at. You know, I when I first got here in January, I was looking for places to perform right. and where I could just um, introduce myself to Miami. And the first thing I found was um, the Facebook page of the artist Premier. Artist Premier. So, so how the artist Premier, man. Yes, that Tony was. Stars. And I was just lucky that that first thing I actually did, that very first performance, already in, uh, introduced me to so many people right. and led to so many other. See, if anybody out there, in Miami, man, artist Premier, Universe Miami. It, uh, I mean, there's so many uh, great artists come through there, yeah. but then you also get to meet and network different people. Yeah, because and, I mean, I could have done any open mic that would have led to nothing but right. i just happened to do my very first gig in miami Lucky. at the artist premiere. how blessed are you so so <laughs> i so i met um dj nasty Nate right. there and then i went on a ritual show where i met you right. and story goes on and, and then on. we all go on story goes on and on and on now um singing you you have a, a natural ability to sing through my ears um <laughs> did you ever take like singing classes Oh, oh, oh. For to, a to very short it? time, very for short a very time. short time. But I gotta um, honestly say it's just, I don't know how it is over here, but it's really expensive in Germany. Oh, that's a very short time. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I only had it for like six So months. when did you realize you knew you can sing? Um, 
I've always liked to sing, like my whole life, even before I could speak. Um, it just automatically happened, but so you like, I noticed Mama. When, when you, just when like you, that. Your first words. Yeah, just like, like that. <laughs> but as as soon as people started noticing, that's when I started noticing mm. because you always need oh, someone so to tell you right. this is more than just good. Mm. So I was always in choirs at school and church and always performing. And then I started getting the solo parts more often. Oh, more often. you like? Mm. And the people really enjoyed me singing. So that I noticed at like age. 12, 13, and then I started writing songs at 14. Oh, started writing songs at 14. Yeah. What was that song about? <laughs> what was that well, first song about? Well, uh, when I started making my own music, it was the first few years, it was only Christian music. Mm. So all my songs were about God. Oh. And, Christianity. Dope. That's what it was about. And then, like at 17, 18, that's when I started writing about just other stuff that oh. occurs in my life. Dope. So you started writing. Um, um, yeah, people. A lot of people God. don't know that that I started out wow. with Christian music. <laughs> That's dope, though. That, yeah. that, that that was you. When, you know, when you're young, you go to church. You you, you, you pick up in church and stuff. That when you grow, you're still able to like you know talk about what you learned, mm -hmm. and have still have that inside of you and put that inside your music. You want to know how it happened though? The very first song I actually wrote it under pressure because oh. at the church they asked me to do a, um, a solo, just perform a whole song that following Sunday, wow. and I didn't really know which one to sing because there's so many right. and all those traditional songs gospel songs and then i decided to just write my own one so i wrote wow. i played the keyboard i composed the song wow. and, I wrote it, and a few days wow. later, a few days later at age 14 i performed my first what? song in church out with of, the piano out of, and singing. out of pressure and confusion like i, I don't want to deal with this so i'm just gonna write a whole new song <laughs> do you remember the first line oh no oh, i don't remember oh, i don't remember so but i did you 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 also play the piano yes how do you learn to play piano? Well, I started getting, um, having keyboard lessons at age eight. Oh, and mom did that, or did mom just sort of put you in the keyboard? Um, well, my brothers played the keyboard, okay. and of course, I wanted to do whatever my, my older brother. brothers did. So, um, That's beautiful. <laughs> so I uh, took lessons for like two years, and then after that, I just played on my own. And wow, so so you learned how to play a piano f before singing. Did that help you with, with your writing? It did because um, at the time I didn't have beats or anything, so oh. I just had to use the keyboard to. What was the keyboard? Were you playing Casio? Uh, it was a, it was a Yamaha. <laughs> Yamaha. But, but it wasn't the grand piano thing what or anything. It was like a toy. Yamaha <laughs> makes Casio make pianos and bikes. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we make piano and bike? <laughs> but you should suggest that to right. them definitely. So yeah, that'll you, you, you buy that. <laughs> right around I'll singing. Buy it. Right around singing. So. Tell me about your writing process. Like, when you when you want to write a song, what do you think of first? Is you, you look for the inspiration? You think about the lyric? You're making the beat first, or what do you? How does a song come? It to just tomorrow? happens. But I gotta say, most of the times, I just feel like playing the piano. I want to sit down. Mm -hmm. I want to practice, and then I come up with a few chords that I like, and then based on that, I. It, it gives me a certain feeling and then I come up with mm. something I want to write about but it's not like oh today I feel like writing about okay a certain subject that's not how it happens. okay okay yeah. well um you got very good um your melodies that you come up with mm -hmm. how do you where do, where does the melodies come from you have a very good uh, way of coming up with me uh, melodies with your songs very very excellent um, so how does it they just happen they just happen <laughs> i know people don't like that answer they just happen but they just happen <laughs> like you don't hear like nothing or or, um, or it depends on the song that you're writing on yeah i mean whichever way the the piano or beat or whatever i have at the time mm -hmm. whatever it inspires me to do like it, it gives me a certain feeling and right. then just based on that um it just flows so what 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 is the most um important thing you learn here in in, in the states besides doing music here and doing music in germany um well since i've had so much time to focus on my music mm -hmm. and i've gotten so much feedback from people i i think in these few months i've i've gotten more feedback from more people than like in the past right. two years wow and i realized that i should really pursue this and if yes. i really focus on this you'd be a fool not to 
after graduating from university, when I have time to focus on this 100%, then I know that I can really achieve something. Yes. I mean, that's what it takes, though. That's a big thing. The difference that, um, you know, it takes a lot of your time and energy and yeah. focus. And when you have talent like you have, mm -hmm. that's the only thing you need is just the hard work to go with the talent yeah. to make it blossom. Because it's people... just not about the music. I've, right. I've been playing great music exactly. for, for years, right. I've, but I've been playing them to myself and networking and being among people and mm -hmm. talking to people is just as important. Because right, exactly. Just that's playing it, that's it the... in my living room, right. won't, uh, Can... it'll, it's fun, <laughs> but it's right. not two things. Happen. Two things that happens is that when you get... Um, recognize when people say you know it gives you a little more boost each little piece each each little recognition or uh, mm -hmm. clap applause you get um boost you, boost your confidence and yeah. make you want to go and keep and keep going keep going keep going the more people do it the more it pushes yeah. you you know what and, I mean? and one wow moment was like in march mm -hmm. uh i have been here for two and a half months and i went to event to an event at will call mm -hmm. and i walked in and just so many people knew me so right. many people <laughs> approached me and i was like, like wow uh, i've just been here for a few months and it's already like this like i can walk into a place right. where people recognize me like that but with that, that voice was, yeah. yeah that was great yeah so I mean, your your voice. Do your, your mother sing? Yes, yeah, that's, that, that's a, she sings, mm. and then she likes to rhyme. What? Yeah, yeah. Your mother like to rhyme? Yeah, I I'm mean, coming not, to not see like Mama Smoke. Not like a rapper, but <laughs> oh, okay. she she she, 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 she likes she's to sing and rhyme. Rhyming. And, and she freestyles. Freestyle sings. She she, she uh, freestyles. <laughs> yes, she freestyles. She, she get it from my mama. <laughs> yeah. And my father, he can uh, write very well. Like he can. Where's your father from? Well. He's originally from Tennessee. And what what kind of music did you grow up listening to in the household? What were your parents listening well, to? Well, uh, mainly black music from like 60s, 70s. Ooh. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ooh, and that. the good stuff. Marvin Gaye. That no kind German of music? Stuff. Like what kind of, what kind of German we, music? We didn't really listen <laughs> to German music in our household. You speak German? Yeah. So you spread love in Germany right now. To Germany or just in Germany? In Germany. Okay. Um, also, ich möchte einfach mal Liebe verbreiten, spread love. Uh, ich wünsche mir einfach, dass es allen gut geht, die dieses Video sehen. What? Und um, ich wünsche allen Glück in allem. Yeah. Whoa! Wait, wait. <laughs> All that is spread love? Yes, I was spreading love. I was saying that I hope that everyone who watched oh, okay. this video is happy and oh, okay. I'm about to say that whole long thing was spread love. I'm about to say damn, that's a long ass word. <laughs> wow. So um, yeah. now that we're already here, would you like mm. to hear something? No, here's what I want to do. This is what we we do on auto tunes. Okay, <laughs> auto tunes is where we interview in the car, but also you get to hear some tunes. So. I want you to perform my favorite song, which is called Skies of Love. This is a song I heard you on the wrist floor. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, she's she's an amazing superstar. Off top, off top. Yeah. People saw the video and they was like, is she um, lip singing? I was like, no, that's, that's off the phone. She's actually <laughs> singing. You know, so what we're going to do right now, this is Simone right here on Auto Tunes with broken glass everywhere. Skies of Love. Skies of Love. Simone. Everybody needs some. Somebody. I think I finally found that somebody That I've been waiting for, craving for, dreaming of Seem to never find for such a long time You came to me with all the love that I need So I can start to believe Everybody wants to be 
everything to somebody like there's nothing above you came to me with all the love that i need so i can start to believe again you took me up into the skies of love you shot me up All I gotta say is, whoa. Far, far away, Skies of love, man. You hear that? Simone, where can they find you at, Simone? They're looking for you right now. If you're looking for me right now, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. The name is B Simone, which is B E E S E M O U N E. B E E S E M O U N E. B Simone. You can also find me on SoundCloud as B Simone or Reverb Nation, just Simone. Facebook, it's Facebook.com slash Simone Music. So I'm everywhere. It's going to be right across the bottom here anyway. So, yeah, you'll Listen, find me. You'll find Simone, me. Simone, B Simone, at B Simone. I want to thank you for coming on Auto Tunes. Thank Thanks you for chilling us here in Miami. Spread love, gang. Auto Tunes, broken Spread glass love. everywhere. Spread, Spread love. love. Spread love. <laughs> it's the human way.